Okay. Alkali metals in group 1A, silver, and it's soft. What can I say? Not very dense, but can be ionized. La 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 we ignite, did you know when we're exposed to every tarnish because of oxidation now? Don't forget about our other properties. We're malleable and good conductors of electricity. Now we gotta go onto alkaline earth's metals. Now, let me hand it off to Bryce. Let's get it. Now we gotta go to alkaline earth metals. Hard, shiny, silvery, and white. High melting point and high boiling point, but has a low, 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 low melting point. Okay, yeah, we're not found freely distributed in rocks on an Earth's crust. Yeah, we rock, but don't forget about our chemical properties. We have high reactivity and high flammability. We can burn with different color frames. Aurelium is white, magnesium is bright, and some of these can even support plant life. It's the transition metals. We have a large charge with radius and ratio. Yeah, we're hard and have a high density. You know we're hot. We're about to melt. Matter of fact, little, let me tell you, we got a high melting <gasps> points, high boiling points. Transition metals share many similarities. They can form many compounds in different oxidation states. They are all metals and conduct electricity and paramagnetic. Mm. Did you know? Transition cool. metals, they're uh, attracted by magnetic fields. Okay, a family isn't invisible. Let me teach you this important principle. Next up, we got the carbon family with five members. They conduct heat less effectively, unlike others. We can be found in pure nature. Our atoms can form covalent bonds, so be a hater. We're not like these metals. We aren't shiny. We prefer to be unreactive, but we combine kindly. Can you see our melting and boiling points are high as can be? Our element density increases down the group. Okay, so we're up. Nitrogen family about to tear it up. Okay, so let me tell you. We can make covalent compounds at room temperature under the oxidation of plus three plus five let me talk about the role of the nitrogen family non-metals metalloids and metals see we can change but we're all different nitrogen is the only one that can be solid at room temperature okay okay let me spit some facts huh i want to let you know that the family is different but now sorry gotta go let me pass it to my boy o2 Oxygen family, also known as group 16, terillium and polonimium can conduct electricity. And don't forget a better high flammability. Oxygen found mostly in Earth's crust. Yeah, you know we make things rust. We are highly reactive, sometimes toxic, but some elements can be solid. Our densities increase when you go down the group. Okay, don't forget about our interesting fact. We make up most of the crust and only 20% of the air that we breathe. And that's whack. Okay, it's the halogen's turn. Yeah, let me tell you, some of us are dangerous. You might not want to mess with us. See, if you breathe in fluoride, you get closer and closer to death. You see, it's one of the more reactive elements. It's closer than you ever get to the octet rule. You see, there have seven. There's no mistaking that they're super powerful. Okay, enough about that. Let's get back to the rap. Fluoride isn't all bad. See, though it helps you out in a good way, yo. It helps your teeth not go away, if you know what I mean. I'm talking about the K. Now, let me see. There are many others. Bromine can be found in the air after it evaporates. Makes orange air now at room temperature and gives off a really bad stench you see but that's enough about that let me get back to the noble gases okay 
Last but not least, we got group 18. They don't read, act with other elements. They don't like to be seen. One thing you should know is that we all conduct electricity. Our atomic radius increases very slowly because we are reactive. We aren't flammable. We don't get the name noble from anywhere. Behave on a level that you can't compare. Wait, you thought we were done? We don't form chemical bonds with anyone.